as Yasuke here. So we have a brand new build that was originally brought to me by Crucil, who is a uh, top lane coach endorsed by LS, who hit rank 69 at the end of the season on Korea. Nice. Uh, and there was some hypothesized variations of builds that we kind of came up with going back and forth. And I've been trying it out and I've been finding a lot of success with it. And it is just such a strong combination that is also not something that I ever really would have thought about on my own. So uh, check Crucial out. And so let's get into the build. And fundamentally, the big problem with the standard build that I've been doing, is, which was Hydra into Essence Reaper into Eclipse, is that that's three items with no attack speed. And that does feel kind of bad. And after you get your Hydra Rush, ideally what you want is attack speed and crit. So what is the item that gives you attack speed and crit? That item is Zeal. So uh, going Berserker Greaves into Hydra into Zeal is the core of the build. Uh, and then also afterwards, you generally go Infinity Edge. That is the standard of what you go. So the standard is... Uh, just, just right here, you're getting this, then you're gonna go into your Tiamat, you're gonna go into this. Build whatever makes sense component-wise for how much gold you have. And then after you have this, always try to sell your Dorn Shield, by the way, if you have the option of getting some better, uh, purchase. And then you're going Zeal, and this is where the kind of core of the build is, and if you notice the way that most games play out, this is gonna be what you're at, at this point. Uh, in terms of how much gold you're going to have when the game is actually being decided at the deciding moments of the game. So Hydra's deal is just the strongest possible uh, value you can be at at this gold level. And then afterwards, you're typically going to be actually be building into Infinity Edge. And as Trinomir, you have innate crit in your kit. So with Zeal and Infinity Edge, you only need a tiny bit of Fury to actually get above 40 to activate the crit damage passive. And Nibori has been kind of nerfed, but I feel like in general, people have been completely neglecting the idea of having Infinity Edge. The amount of burst damage it gives you is uh, very much harkening back to the olden days of Trinomir where we actually used to be able to auto attack. Because recently on Trinomir, he's just kind of been a spin Autobot, spin Autobot. Uh, with very low levels of damage in it. Just trust me, this feels amazing as a gold spike to get to. Why is there a Poro here? <laughs> okay. So, this, and then actually building into Holebreaker as this variation, is what I've been trying, and I've been having a lot of success with it. I've really been enjoying Holebreaker, and... At this point in your you have so much damage and so much like reliable crit reliable um ability to just have movement speed that hole breaker makes it to where anytime you are left unattended in a lane you're instantly taking one two three four all of the turrets and hole breaker doesn't really gain a lot of value until level 12 or something which is actually what it would be a second item so this is the core of the build. Boots. Boots into Hydra into Zeal. However, sometimes, depending on how the game state goes and how I feel like things are going, especially if my team is behind and I need gold or I'm behind and I need gold, I'll just go Hole Breaker next. And then this Hole Breaker, uh, which is what we'll show in this stage right here, is if you are left alone in a lane, with nobody there, you're just going to instantly start taking turrets. And especially one thing that I've noticed a lot is that so many people are playing Holebreaker Scion recently. Like, that's just the thing that I see a lot in my games. And if you have two people with Holebreaker, it becomes a nightmare to actually play against that. Because simultaneously, the team needs to send two people for you, two people for the Scion, and then they have nobody to actually deal with the, the grouping. So it, it completely, it makes it a 7v5 and it just makes it kind of impossible to deal with. So also just Holebreaker, uh, since you have so much damage at this point, 
uh, Holebreaker gives you that extra level of sort of beefiness and tankiness, which makes it a little bit harder for you to get surprise bursted. And when you're at this level, the amount of resistances it'll give you will make it so much easier to win those kind of skirmishes and win those duels, which is really nice. And it'll make it just a lot harder to actually poke you out of the lane. But yeah, we just very, very quickly, if they let up on their macro for a second, you, you just get the kill. You're just done. Um, so that is fundamentally the variation that I'll go. And then once I have this level of gold, where if I'm building Holebreaker at this point, then I'm going to be building Infinity Edge next. If I'm building Infinity Edge, I might go Holebreaker. It depends on how the game is going. Uh, but after this, you have a Zeal, and then you have a free item slot. I don't think it's actually really important to get a Mythic right here. You can get a Mythic, and it is perfectly fine. Uh, but what you build at this point doesn't really matter that much. One is that you're so rarely going to get to the slot, but... Uh, two, like, say if I have 1600 gold, I could either get a Noon Quiver uh, to build into one of the Crit Mythics, or I could just finish uh, uh, Phantom Dancer. And then so, it would just be at this point, having the attack speed in addition to all of the damage that you'd be building the turrets, like, you're just going to instantly... Kind of just instantly be demolishing turrets. And things are just going to fall so, so rapidly and you're just going to get the game ended really quickly. And uh, yeah, this is a build that was gotten to me from a uh, top level Korean challenger end of season coach who is endorsed by LS. And I never really thought that something like this would actually work, but it really, really does. And then also, a little bit of update on not just build, but then one other addition that I updated was with runes, right? Is that sometimes I'll run Lethal Tempo, sometimes I'll run Phase Rush. Phase Rush is really strong for early skirmishing, especially. And you know what is also really good for early skirmishing? Water Walking. And water walking, it gives you free boots in the river. So every time there's a uh, herald or dragon fight, you are so much stronger. And then you also have, um, you also basically have a longsword. If you're level 10, you have 10 AD. Uh, if you're level 5, you'll have that something, etc., etc., etc. And then also, one thing of another adaption is instead of going celerity, I'm going absolute focus. And now. I had a really hard time wrapping around in my brain why would Absolute Focus be good on Trinomere? Because you, you, you run Last Stand, which gives you more damage while you're low. So why would you run Absolute Focus and have extra damage while you're high health? How does that make sense? But, so if you look at how Last Stand works, it's only increased damage to champions. But Absolute Focus is just raw AD while you are higher in health, which makes farming so much faster because once you have this hydra you're always going to be far uh high health while you're farming so you're going to be getting a lot of extra ad um like say say you're at level nine it's nine extra ad uh it's just it's basically just one per level it's so much value that you get for free honestly and it's just it's just amazing so i've been really feeling the power of not only just having water walking, but absolute focus. That large amount of extra AD in a lot of these early fights has just been so great for letting me actually win. And uh, I've been feeling so strong. And one concept that I wanted to think about at some point, uh, but I've kind of gotten out of it, was soloing dragons. If you have absolute focus and water walking, your ability to solo dragons really at any point of the game is just so easy. And uh, so getting dragons and putting a higher focus on dragons, that's also one aspect of how water walking will help you, is that water walking will make you think about how do I do objectives more? And if you just get those dragons, League has been a dragon meta since 2020. Like, you're going to be in much, much better spot if you're just securing every dragon on cooldown. And you'll also just be stronger for every one of these fights. And that skirmishing power that you get from water walking and absolute focus is going to be insane. And uh, so, Alacrity 2. And then, yeah. At this point, 
you can build this. Also, one thing that I did forget to mention is another variation that's possible. Since games end so early, another variation that I've been thinking about because I think that certain components in the game are just stronger than what completed items would be. So, you get Hydra, that's your base. Zeal is really strong on its own. Many times you don't actually have to complete Zeal into an item for it to have value. But then, instead of getting an Infinity Edge, getting a Mythic, getting a Hole Breaker, getting this or getting that, just go Sheen and Dirt. And just component spam right here. Because all three of these items are some of the strongest components in the game. Sheen has incredible value. Sheen has incredible value. Zeal, really, really strong as a component. Dirk, strong as a component. And then after this point, you just build uh, whatever whatever you want at this point. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you could go into Eclipse uh, if you want that shield and if you want that kind of uh, little movement speed right there. Um, I wouldn't recommend building Phantom Dancer here, but you could either go Essence Reaver, you could go Eclipse. I, I would recommend probably just finishing out one of those components. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. Go ahead and check Crucial's channel out down below. See you guys in the next video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the build. Try it out. See how it feels. There's three variations. I'll post it down below in a comment, uh, specifically typing out the variations. So, see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. And good night. Yeah.